another DIY. I have a few um, DIYs that I'm going to put together. Uh, this is not going to be a... This is going to be a quick DIY, and this is going to take a little bit longer here. So, what you will need for this first DIY is a bath mat that I got from the Dollar Tree. It's a vinyl bath mat, and I have cut it up into slices here. Okay, and you're going to need two glasses. Okay, on the next DIY, you're going to need two poster boards. You're going to need a mirror. You're going to need some votive candle holders. And you're going to need little small silver spoons that I have broken in half. And I put beads on them. This is one of the ones that I did in my first DIY. And I put the beads on them. So I had a few of these left over, so I'm going to use these. And you're going to need the scissors and your glue gun. So stay tuned. Okay, I'm going to start on this first one here. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to attempt to do this on camera. I hadn't started on one, so I'm going to show you what I had in mind to do. So, what I want to do is, there is a thin slice of the mat, and then there is a bigger piece of the mat. I hope you guys can see this on camera. Okay. Let me show you again. If you're looking at the mat here, there is a there is a thick side. Let's see. There is a thick side, and then there is a thin side. And all I did was slice them. We just slice them up. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to take the I'm going to take the thin one, and that's what I'm going to start with. going to put a little glue on the bottom here just a little bit and I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it right here okay right at the top here and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to wrap it around Okay, see that? I hope you guys can see this on camera. Then I'm going to take it and I'm going to put a little glue right here. And I'm kind of pulling it a little bit so it can go on here tight. So it doesn't have any slack in it. So it's on there pretty tight. Okay, then I'm going to take... I'm going to take another thin one, and I'm going to go right here, right beside it. Not too close beside it, but not too far. And I'm going to go right here. Okay, and I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to go the same direction. And go around just like this. Same direction. Now at the end, once you get here and you don't have enough room and you may need to cut one of these off, you can do that also. Because I think that's what I might have to do. Okay. So that's my second one. So I'm going to continue these and I'll be back. Okay, so I've finished this one here. 
And then I started on the second one, but I ran out of small ones, so I had to start cutting some more up. So I'm going to finish these, and then I'll be back. I wanted to come and show you guys what I was doing. So this is a small row here. So all I'm, all I'm doing is going through here, and I'm just cutting it off. That's all I'm doing. And they have like these little points on them, the little middle design in there. I'm just cutting that off. Just like that. Okay. Then I go to the next row. Do the same thing. Just cut it off. I'm getting as close as I can to the big one because when I go back and trim it, I won't have to pin, I won't have to trim the big one here because I'm already close to it. So I'm just going right down the line, getting as close as I can to the big one and not even touching the small one. I'm going to go back and do the small one in a minute. Okay. So again, I'm just trimming it up. Cutting it right down the middle. I'm going as close as I can to the big one again, which is the big one right here. Okay, now I want to go back and trim them up. Now, if you can see, there's like a little line there. There's a little bit left from leftover from the From me cutting it right here there's a little left over so all I'm gonna do is go up and trim it up just get it as smooth as I can hold it up to the light and just get it as smooth as I can and cut them off cut the little nips off okay I'm gonna continue this and I'll be back okay now that they are done drying this is what color I decided to paint my bases gold it's a metallic gold and you can put um, flowers in these I'm gonna get some flowers and put some flowers in there hold on a second okay I put some flowers in them but you don't have to put this color in there you can put whatever color you want in there but they look pretty good with flowers in them also These are what the shower mats made the vases look like. I think they are beautiful. So you can have it with the with with the flower or without the flower. Okay, I also have these little picks here that you can stick in there. So which one do you like? You can do it without anything in it, or you can put a flower in it, or you can put these little picks in there. Here's also another look with gold flowers in them. This is pretty also. So the options are endless. You can have it, like I said, you can either do them without a filler in them or, or put something in them. I like both ways. I don't know how I'm going to use them, but I'm going to put them in my living room when I get done redoing my living room. So you'll see them. I like this idea here, so I'll probably leave them like this. Not sure. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And share my videos. Thank you.